Hey folks, Wes here. Dino, if you're not sure, it's a new JavaScript runtime that we're getting a whole bunch of new JavaScript runtimes. There's Dino, there's Bun, the Cloudflare has their own, and we have Node.js, and it's not just Node now. However, Node has all the packages, right? And now Dino has rolled out NPM and Node support, meaning that we had them on the podcast. It's going to be out this Friday. You should be able to just use your Node packages that you are used to using in Dino and it should just work. They've polyfilled the whole Node API in Dino code, which is pretty cool. I think eventually we'll stop writing packages specifically for Node.js, but um, for now, like we've got existing apps. So I've got this app. We I built this on my YouTube three years ago, over, over three years ago. And basically it's a little scraper. It hits my Instagram and my Twitter and just grabs a count of how many people are following me um, and then makes an API. And I thought this is a perfect little test because like it's an old app, three and a half years, it uses some stuff that um, maybe I wouldn't choose to use today, but it's it's existing and this is what real world looks like. So I'm gonna say like, I'm not gonna update anything. Like I should, probably should be using Fetch instead of Axios here, but who cares, right? Uh, Cheerio is, I've updated it here. Now I'm going to try, it's running as is in Node. I'm going to try to just switch it over the dependencies to Dino and run it in Dino. And if it works, then we are in good shape. I'm hopefully not going to have to change any of the code other than the import dependencies. So let's get rocking. Um, I'm just going to go file by file. If you take a look at how to use it, there's two ways to import dependencies from in Dino. You either can do it right from the CDN, so you can just grab the, the HTTPS URL straight away, or you can use NPM specifiers, which is probably what we want, NPM colon. Now I have updated all my dependencies to the latest version of every single one. So I don't need to specify the at version because I updated it like three minutes ago. So let's go in index.js here and let's run, uh, simply we just need to write npm colon in front of every single dependency. And I'll speed this up because you don't need me to see me doing that. Cron. Load DB this is a text-based database, which is pretty cool. Uh, you can see the data is just being stored in a JSON file, which I really like. Scraper uses Axios and Cheerio and utilities. There's no utils. This is just a regular JavaScript function. Okay, so that's good. Um, the next thing is the start command node. Um, Dino has its own watcher built in, so I'm probably don't have to do it. So I'm going to make a new command called, oh no, <laughs> here I am thinking that we're making package.json, but Dino doesn't need that. I just need to run Dino run index.js and it uh, theoretically should work. Let's try it. So go to my warp here. Um, I'm going, you see that I've. I've crashed my existing application because I put NPM in front of them. That's a uh, Dino spe specific thing. So we, if I run Dino index.js, oh, Dino run and then allow net and allow file, I think. Oop, I got to do dash dash. Okay, looks like it's downloading my dependencies from NPM, which is good. Uh, here we go. Dino requests access to the current working directory. Do you want this? Yes, because I'm saving the data to a file system, not a database. So yes, I want to allow that. Um, allow ENV. I don't need access to that. I'm just gonna say yes. Uh, right access. Yes. Oh, this is cool. So this is the benefit of Dino is it's literally saying this script is trying to access your, this, this file on your system. Do you want to allow that? Um, and the answer to that is yes, I do. And like, this may take a little bit more time, but it's kind of nice to know like, okay, it's, it's trying to access this db.json file. So yes, granted right access. Not sure what it's doing right now. My network activity is doing nothing, so it's not downloading any files. Oh, maybe maybe it is running. I I expected to see an out, output on console log, but if I refresh, <laughs> it's just working. <laughs> it does work. 
Oh man, that's awesome. Um, so the other thing is I want to know if my scraper is working because that's using Cheerio. So we can go into uh, my cron job and it is 1038. So I'm going to put this to 1039 and I'm going to restart it. Uh, I, I can rerun this with allow all. Oh, it's because I spelled allow wrong. That's why. looks like I can bypass that. All right, now it's running. My API is, is up and running, good. Um, so now the question is, at 8, 10.39, will it run my cron job and update the data in here? Oh, there we go. So it's trying to run access to the API. Yes, uh, uh, this is the website I'm scraping it from, knitter.net, just because Twitter it doesn't like you scraping. It worked. Unbelievable. So I took a decently sized node app with not decently sized, but these are all the dependencies inside of that. And I just updated the URLs and it worked. <laughs> cool. So check out Dino. Pretty sweet.